you guys. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. What does that little note say? Okay. YouTube was just trying to tell me something, but I missed it. I hope you are ready for Powerful Flow Sunday night. My name is Brooke Armstrong. Thank you for joining me here. And um, if you're taking this any other day than Sunday slash Mother's Day, have a moment of gratitude anyways. Just some appreciation for your mom. I know she'll feel it, whether she's here or not. Just take a deep breath and have a moment for her. All right, you guys, let's get ready to go. Child's pose, please. Kind of appropriate. So um, knees together on this one, forehead down, hands reach back towards the heels. Let your shoulders melt around your knees. Start to take some deep breaths in and out. We are in a crunched position in child's pose, so it might be a little bit um, less deep with the breath, but still I want you to take the air in in a way that's puffing out your ribs and allowing space to happen because the breath is entering the lungs. So inhaling, feeling the back body expand, and then exhaling, feeling the softness contract down. Inhaling, and exhaling. Two more times like that. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. One more inhale, breath. And then exhale. Now we'll stretch the arms forward, coming onto the hands and the knees. Just start to move your body weight side to side, warming up through the wrists. Just notice if there's any sort of tightness or areas of discomfort. And then turn the fingertips out slightly. I'm just gonna let my dog out of her kennel so she's not making that noise. You guys stay there. Okay, go. Go somewhere and play. <laughs> okay, side to side action. Fingers just turned out slightly. Hey girl, what's up? I'm her mommy, so this is her way of telling me happy Mother's Day. And then we'll turn the fingertips back to face the knees. And just do your best. You might not be able to get them to turn all the way, and that's fine. Just turn them as much as you can get them. And then rock your body weight side to side gently. And then let's turn the fingers back to face the front. Come on to the outside of your right wrist. So you're taking the back of the hand down on the floor. Your thumb is on the mat as well. Your fingers are spread wide. Put a bend into your elbow, push into the top of the hand. And then as you exhale, straighten the elbow as much as you can, keep your thumb down. Inhale, bend the elbow in deeply. Exhale, straighten that guy out. Inhale, bend in. Then exhale, straighten out. Two more times, inhale, bend in. And then exhale, straighten out. One more time, inhale, bend in. And then exhale, straighten her out. And then just pick up your hand and shake your wrist out a little bit. Just getting those juices flowing. And then we'll take the other side, come onto the back of your left wrist. Thumb on the ground, fingers spread wide. Inhale as you bend. And then exhale as you straighten. Inhale, bend it in. And then exhale, straighten out. Three more times like that. Inhale, bend. Go deep and really push into the top of that wrist. And then exhale, straighten. Dos mas, inhale, and then exhale. Last one, inhale, bend in, and then exhale, straighten her out, and then pick up your left hand and just shake that guy out. Walk your hands a bit forward of where they were, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Shake out your head a little bit, and if you need to put a soft bend into your knees to give your back some slack, do it. Draw your shoulders away from your ears by turning the eyes of your elbows, which are on the inside, turning the eyes of your elbows up as much as you can, and then relax the neck a bit more. Tip your tailbone up. Three more deep breaths in and out. Inhale. Fully exhale, pulling low belly to spine. Two more. Inhale. Full exhale. One more big breath in. And then on this exhale, walk or step your feet to the top of your hands. Come all the way up in between the hands if possible. Inhale into halfway lift, pull your chest forward. Exhale and soften that sucker down. 
Again, halfway lift, inhale, breath. Forward fold, exhale. One more time, inhale. And then forward fold, exhale it out. Push down into your strong legs, rise up to stand, inhale, breath. Palms press up over your head. Exhale, thumbs touch down at the heart center. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, fold deeply. Halfway lift, inhale, breath. Step back, lower down, low plank position and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Push back up to plank and then downward facing dog. Exhale, three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale it out. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop or step your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, pull the chest up. Forward fold, soften it all down, push down into your legs, rise up, big breath in, reach. Hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Low plank for five breaths. As you exhale, take it down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you need to modify, you just place your knees down, but nothing changes. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. As you exhale, lower all the way down to the floor this time. Let your toenails lie flat. Inhale for cobra. Lift your chest. Exhale. Lay it back down. Inhale, cobra. Lift your chest. And then exhale. Lay it back down. One more time. Inhale, cobra. And then exhale, lay it down. Now, push yourself up away from the floor. Lift your hips, downward facing dog. Shift your hips around the room, maybe just picking up one foot, pouring the weight down in the opposite foot. Maybe you want to bend the knees and move the hips. Whatever helps you get down the outside edges of your body. Two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, lengthen. Forward fold, exhale. <sighs> Sit down for chair pose, so bend the knees a lot. Reach the arms up by the ears. Breathe. Two. Three. Four. And five, inhale, breath, exhale to forward fold. Halfway lift, find some length. Low plank position as you exhale. On the inhale, come into up dog. On the exhale, downward facing dog. Raise your right leg, big breath in. Step your right foot in between your hands, breath out. Warrior one on the inhale, rise up. Palms pressed together. Bend the right knee vigorously. Now you're practicing this in your home, right? So only you are accountable to you. So how do you show up today? If you came for a little bit of strength, bend your knee more, squeeze your back leg stronger. If you came to just move your body, maybe you take a slight bend out of the knee. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more big breath in. And then as you exhale, lay your upper body forward, reach your arms back behind you, squeeze your triceps towards one another. Chin down, two, three, and four. Reach your arms forward, inhale, breath. Exhale, hands to the floor, turn up on your back toes. Take your right leg back up behind you, three-legged downward facing dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. Straighten the leg out, and then bend it. And then bring the knee towards the left elbow underneath the body. Pause. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Put a slight bend in your left knee. Look forward, inhale. Step or hop top of mat as you exhale. Halfway lift, pull the chest up. Forward fold, exhale it out. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms by the ears. Inhale, sink lower. Two. Three. Four. 
Last one, inhale breath. Forward fold, exhale breath. Halfway lift, find some length. Low plank position, exhale, hopping or stepping. Upward, inhale. Downward, exhale, raise the left leg up high, inhale. Step the left foot in between your hands, exhale. Warrior one on the breath in. Right foot kick stands down, arms reach up. Decide, how are you showing up today? Three. Four. And five, inhale, look up and lean back. Exhale, hands to the ground. Come up onto the back toes, pause there. Reach the arms back behind you, squeeze the inner, or excuse me, squeeze the triceps to lift the arm bones up. Bend the front knee more. Inhale, breath. Stay for the exhale. One more. Now hands down to the ground, left leg comes up, three-legged down dog. Straighten the leg out, and then bend the knee in. Straighten the leg out, and then bend the knee in. Straighten it out, bring it under the body, tap the right elbow, hold, and then extend it back up, three-legged down dog, big breath in. Step the foot through, in between the hands, breath out. Slight bend into the right knee, inhale. Step to the top of the mat, exhale. Forward fold, drop in. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Bend the knees, keep the hands on the ground, let the heels lift off. Take the arms out in front of you. Slowly lower your butt down to the ground. Now, take your hands behind you, fingertips face your butt. Take your right leg up. Straighten your right leg. Bend your elbows, lean back through your upper body. Take your right heel almost to the floor. Right there. Two. Three. Four, your right foot is floating. And five, bring it back up. Bend the knee. Set the right foot down, left leg extends. Reach it long. Take it almost down to the floor, hold and breathe. Lean back, bend the elbows. One more big breath in and out. Bring the leg back up. Bend the knee. Set the foot down. Now, there is a fly traveling across my mat. Sorry, little fly. Now we're going to pick both legs up. Here we go. Straighten them. Take them down one inch off the floor. Reach your arms forward. Hold and breathe and breathe and hold. Inner spiral your thighs so your big toes are touching. Three more. Two more. Una mas. Now bring it back up. Inhale, breath. Exhale, lay it back down. Bring it back up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, almost there, exhale, two more, back down, last one, back down, hold, hands behind your head, keep your shoulder blades up off the ground. Now what I want you to do is squeeze your knees towards your elbows, lift your shoulders up, lift your tailbone up, and then come back down, and then again, and back down. Now let's add a little bit of pace to this. So we're going for 20. And what you're really trying to do is curl that tailbone up while squeezing your arms up and your shoulder blades up. If you're super strong in your abs, you might want to reach forward because you might have more space and want to try to touch your shoulders to your knees rather than your elbows. All right, here we go. 20 times. Ready, set, go. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Head down, legs up. Take your right heel almost to the floor. Bring it back up. Left, up, right, up, down. Keep going.
Now lift your shoulder blades up, keep your legs moving. Keep your elbows wide so you're not yanking on your head. It's, your hands are just there as support, that's it. So elbows stay wide. Really let those abs fire. Fire, fire, fire. Let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight. Legs as straight as you can get them. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bend the knees, set the feet down. Lift your hips up, baby little bridge for a moment to open up the front of your hip pockets. <sighs> Big breath in and out. <sighs> One more. <sighs> and then slowly lower your butt down to the ground, hands behind the thighs, rock and roll. Get enough momentum that you can rise up to standing without using your hands. You might have to do it a couple times, right? If that's you, that's fine. Rise up to stand, however you need to get there. Hands to your heart center. Shut down your eyes for just a moment. So now that we have gotten all the wiggles out and a little bit of movement into the body, it's time to set your personal intention for your practice. So as you're breathing here, feeling your heart beat under your thumbs, I want you to bring into your mind why you are here in this moment. What brought you to your mat today rather than all the millions of things that you could be doing right now? What keeps you on your mat? And how can we use this practice to amplify that intention for yourself? Two more breaths to solidify it in your mind. One more breath. Let your eyes open. Inhale your arms up overhead. Stretch. Exhale, forward fold. Take it down and in. Halfway lift. Find some length. Forward fold, exhale it out. Pick up your left leg behind you. Now your hands don't reach the floor. You can use blocks, yeah? Or you could use anything, really, a chair, the wall, whatever you have handy. But keep your left hip turned down for right now. I want you firing up your left leg so much that it's shaking, okay? So really turning internal rotation of that left leg. Breathe. The, the chest is stretching forward. We're not folded over the right leg. We have a nice long spine. Two. Three. Four. And five. Left toes find the back of the mat. Inhale, bend the right knee as deep as you can. And then exhale, twist, right arm up to the ceiling. Inhale, rise up, looking at your right hand. Stay in the lunge, just the torso lifts off. Exhale, reverse, right hand, left thigh, left arm reaches up. You're twisting to your right as far as your body will let you. Let your eyes turn to the right as well. That will help your spine. Help it turn, that is. One more big breath in. And then exhale your hands down to the floor. Three-legged down dog, inhale, breath. Exhale, knee to nose, under the body. Three-legged down dog, inhale. Exhale, knee under the body, cross. Inhale, three-legged, squeeze it up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, to the left. Three more, inhale. To the right, exhale. Two more, inhale. To the left, exhale. One more, inhale. To the right, exhale, hold. Lower down halfway. Push yourself back up, plank. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, straighten and lift your right toes. Exhale, bend in. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. And then exhale, bend in. Step to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breath, inhale. Forward fold, breath, exhale. Crow pose. Bend the knees, set the knees on the backs of the arms. Hold for five breaths, or you're either trying to get it up there for that amount of time, and then shoot your feet back on breath number five. Ready? Set. You should be on about three, two, one. Inhale, shoot back on the exhale. Upward, downward facing dog. So I clearly just had wardrobe malfunction. Hopefully, YouTube won't ban the video. Okay, 
Bend the knees, look forward, inhale, hop or step, top of mat, exhale. Halfway lift, big old breath. Forward fold, exhale it out. Root down through strong legs, rise up, lean back. Hands to her center as you exhale. Step your right foot back to the back of the mat. Bend your left knee coming into warrior two. Open the arms up. Breathe. Two. One more. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Keep leaning back. Exhale, straighten out your left leg. Keep reaching your left arm up and over. Inhale yourself up tall. Exhale, switch your feet. Left foot in, right toes out. Inhale, warrior two. Hold. One more big breath. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Low plank. Upward facing, heart high. Downward facing, hips to the sky. Bend the knees, gaze forward. Hop or step. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold, standing on the left leg. Lift the heart, pull the right leg up. Squeezing your right leg so vigorously that it's shaking. Use your inner thigh to keep that puppy up there. Deep breaths in and out. Heart is lifting away from the tummy. One more big breath in and out. Awesome. Now take the right toes down to the back of the mat. Inhale, bend the knee deep. Exhale, left arm up to the ceiling. Take an inhale breath. Rising up on the exhale, looking back at the left hand. Left hand, right leg, right arm up. Twist. Let your eyes look to the left so the spine follows. Breathe. Two. One more. And then inhale up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Left leg goes back. Three-legged down dog. Inhale, breath. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale to the left. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale to the left. Exhale. Bring it back up. Step the foot through in between the hands. Bend the knee. Look forward. Inhale. Straighten the leg. Lift the toes on the exhale. Inhale, drop it in. Exhale, lift her off. Two more. One more. Awesome, now bend into the knees, step to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Crow pose, hands on the ground. Elbows to, or excuse me, knees to the back of the arms. Squeeze yourself forward, hold and breathe for five. Four. Three, two, one more big breath in. Shoot your feet back, low plank. Upward, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, breath, hop or step. Halfway lift, forward fold. Open your feet up, hip distance. Grab a hold of your elbows. Sway your upper body side to side. Release your hands down to the ground. Take a halfway lift breath and a forward fold breath. Root down to rise up. Big breath in, stretch. Hands to heart center, exhale. Step your left foot out wide. Warrior two. Deep breath in. B girl. Come here, exhale. Don't knock the camera. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Mm, I love you. Exhale. Absolutely. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Lean back, open up your waist. And then go ahead and straighten out your right side waist as you lean back a little more. Bring it back up straight, big breath in. Goddess pose on the exhale. So left heel turns in, right heel turns in. Feet are doing the same thing on the same place, yeah? So make sure they're even. One's not like, you know what I'm saying. Caddy want this. Hands on the knees, push your knees out. The 
whole fam in here today. So this is a great example of why you don't have small beings running about. Because at any moment I could just crush her. <laughs> Two more breaths in. And out. One more breath in. And out, inhale up straight, turn your right foot in, your left toes out. Sit back, warrior two, gaze out over your left fingers. Inhale and reverse. <laughs> Exhale, take it down. Low plank, here we go. Upward, heart high. Downward, it's to the sky. <laughs> okay, that's enough, sweet girl, have fun. Bend the knees, look forward, exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift, inhale breath, forward fold, exhale breath. Crow pose, can she do it with a child on her back? We will find out. Ava, draw your knees up. Knees on the backs of the arms, here we go. Shift your weight forward, you don't move. You don't move a muscle. Yes! <laughs> Hold for three, <laughs> two, one. Shoot your feet back, low plank position. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Okay, you gotta get off now. Thank you, sweetie. Raise your left leg up high, big breath in. Step your left foot through in between the hands. And hold your arms up. Now this time we're taking the hands to the heart center and we're twisting right elbow past left knee. So get down deep and not twist. Your body should be super warm and juicy at this point to be able to achieve that really, really well. Hey, B, I need you to go out, please. For real, thank you. Hold steady. Two. And one. Put your right knee on the floor. Turn your body back to face your left leg. Hands on either side of your left foot. Sit yourself back. Flex your left toes. Possibly you go into full splits here. Or maybe you stay in halfsies with me. Drop down. Hold steady and breathe. Two more inhales and exhales. One more. If you're in full splits, go ahead and meet us back into the lunge position. So left knee bends in, right knee comes down. Now we're taking you into lizard pose. So bring your elbows inside of your left foot. And then we're doing like kind of semi forest style. Right thigh is coming close to the ground. So inchworm that sucker back as far as you can and see if you can't pancake the front of your right leg on the floor. You can hold onto your left knee if that helps. Sometimes that helps me. I've even seen some people just climb under their left leg to help them get closer to the ground. Now hold and breathe right there. Two. Three. And four. Now, just go ahead and roll onto your right hip completely, okay? Right elbow is in contact with the ground. Left hand comes behind you. Your left foot is still on the floor. Take your left hand to the outside edge of your left foot. Lean onto your right hip. Take your left leg up. Pull the heel towards the body, so give it a lot of zhuzh and squeeze. Awesome. Now set the left foot back down, roll back over. So now you're on your left foot and the top of your right leg. Pick your right leg up. Crawling your left arm underneath your left leg. Hand on the outside of the foot. Clamp down on your arm, lean forward. Shift your weight forward, straighten the leg and then maybe your right toes lift off. And then send it back, three-legged downward facing dog. Inhale, breath. Stay for the exhale. Now shift your weight forward, big breath in. Left leg stays in the air. Right hand comes to the center of the mat. Turn the body into side plank. Keep your left leg as high as you can. This is why we just stretch that hamstring in that funky, funky way. And then reach your arm up, hold and breathe. Two. One more. 
Now bend the left knee, let it land behind your right leg, coming into wild thing. If you need to take a break, you just set your hips down and then raise it back up with everything you've got. Open your chest. Three, two, and one. Bring it back around. Downward facing dog. Walk your dog like you mean it. Lots of effort in that doggy. No one said walk your dog has to be looking like a prance. That's, I feel like that's walk your horse. <laughs> Shift your weight forward, breath in. All the way to the floor, breath out. Take your arms, stretch them out in front of you straight. Press into your toenails. Push into your fingertips, lift your heart. Hold and breathe. Two. And one, press yourself back, child's pose, just like we did when we started returning to home base. Hands to the feet. I know what you're thinking. I'm not sure what just happened. Don't worry, it only has to happen one more time. My teacher used to always say, be grateful you're not an octopus, right? Because we only have two sides. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. All right, down dog. Lift your right leg up. Step your right foot in between your hands. Inhale for crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to heart. Tip your weight forward, breath in. Left elbow past your right knee and then get down juicy, juicy, juicy in there. Sink low. Two, three, four, and five. Now we'll slowly release the hands down on either side of that foot. Straighten out your front leg. Coming into halfsies or fullsies, your choice. In the splits, this is the half split. You just lean back. Some people like to sit on their back foot. Some people that does not feel good. So it really is, you know, your body tells you what's best. I feel like even though I can sit on my left foot, I feel like for some reason this elevated position, probably because it's not as supported, gives me a little bit better stretch. You know me, I always go for the gold. <laughs> All right, here we go. Isn't that what mom always said? Go for the gold. Walk yourself forward, bring your right hand inside your right foot. We're taking that forest style lizard. So walk your left knee back. So forest, if you're not familiar, is a style of yoga. They have like massive emphasis on hip openers and stabilizers, massive. So you're trying to get your left thigh pancaked down towards the mat. Three more deep breaths in and out. Now just go ahead and roll onto your left hip completely. Pause there. Take your right hand to the outside of your right foot. Now when I lift up like this, you might not be able to straighten your leg holding onto the foot, and that's okay. Move your hand down to your calf or wherever you can straighten. But let's get a massive stretch here. And then remember this angle because when you come inside plank in a moment, you should still be able to lift this high, yeah? Yes. Good, and then let's roll out of this sucker. Bring your right foot back forward. Take your time, there's no rush. We got all day. Okay, hands down on the ground. Here we go. Come off of your back knee. Lift yourself up. Take it up behind you. Bring your left hand into the middle. Roll into that side plank. Splits. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now bend the right knee, set the right toes down. Remember, if you need a little break for your left arm, just set your hips down for a second. Take a deep breath in. 
As you exhale, lift up. Wildest thing you ever did say. Lean back and open up with everything in you. And then inhale, stretch it up, control it, coming back, nail it, nail it, nail it. And then set the foot down. Shift forward into plank pose, breath in, lower all the way to your tummy, tums, breath out. This time, hands on the floor outside your mat, cupcake fingers, which means imagine you had a cupcake under each hand, so they're not smushing them. Lift off, push into your arms, lift your chest. If you can't come up all the way, don't worry about it, just do your best. Shoulders away from ears. Two more. One more big breath. And then slowly lay yourself down. Lay your left ear on the floor. Take your hands down by your hips. Take a moment here. Feel your heart beating against the earth. Reciprocate that motherly love that the earth has for you. Reciprocate it back with your heartbeat. The first mother who holds us and nurtures us daily. Turn your right ear on the floor. Bring the chin down to the floor. Bend your right knee, reach back, catch hold of the top of the right foot. Pull the heel towards your butt to stretch out your quadricep. Squeeze your glutes to press your hips down. You could put your left ear on the mat or you could take your chin to the floor. It's just up to you. Now release the right foot down. If you did an ear, switch sides. If you did chin, you could stay there. Grab a hold of the left foot, pull the heel towards the butt, stretching out the quad. So you're squeezing the glute to push the front of your hip points down. And then we'll release the left foot out. Shimmy the hips side to side. Bend the knees, reach back, catch hold of the tops of both feet. Knees are hip distance apart. Chin down into the chest, stretch out the back of your neck. Now, squeeze your butt, push your hips down. Then start to pull yourself away from the floor. As you do, take your gaze straight forward and then continue to push into your legs like literally they were, you know, weightless. Imagine like you just put helium in your legs and they're floating up. The feet are your balloons and they're pulling the legs up off the ground. Hold and breathe and breathe and hold. Three more, two more, and then slowly release all that down. Hands to the floor next to your chest. Push yourself up, child's pose, lean back. Roll your body back forward, let your hips come down. And then roll yourself back. So just a little undulation here, full of the spine, rolling forward and then rolling back. Make it as curvy as you can. So C-spine, 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 then heart lifts, belly drops, and then curl, 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 as you take it back. One more time. And then downward facing, doge. Lift her up. Bring your right hand closer to the middle of the mat. Step your right foot outside your right hand. Draw your right arm underneath. We forgot to do this one, you guys didn't tell me. <laughs> okay, butt is lifted, clamp down. Oh yeah, shift your weight forward, leg goes out. <sighs> maybe the left toes lift off, maybe not. Hold and breathe and breathe and hold for three, two, one. Lift yourself back up, downward facing dog. And then set that sucker down. Bend the knees, look forward. This will be our last jump. 
So maybe see if you can take your hands down at this point. Or just, you know, we've been working on that frog hop where you just hold your knees bent. Try that one. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Bend your knees. Take your arms forward in front of you. Allow the momentum of your body to take you into plow position. If you have a healthy neck, your bottom will land, your legs will go over. If you don't have a healthy neck, you're with me. If you have a healthy neck, go for it. Otherwise, we're laying on the back and then the arm, or excuse me, the legs come up. Arms reach back. So you're either in a plow position or a waterfall position, which is what I'm in. And I don't ever really do plow in the videos because it's super hard to talk and breathe and do plow. So it's not that I don't love it, it's just difficult to do all those things. If you are in plow, see if you can get the tops of your feet flat, so like as if your toes were pointed over your head, so you can get the tops of your feet flat to the floor behind you. Two more breaths. Now plows, let's come into shoulder stand, legs straight up to the ceiling. Waterfalls are with me. We're doing waterfall pose. Keep squeezing your legs straight, waterfalls. They should be at least over your hips. If they can be a little forward, cool, but they should be at least over your hips, not out here. Unless you just wanna do abs this whole time, then that's fine with me too. Strong legs, everybody, whether you're in shoulder stand or waterfall, strong legs. Two more breaths. One more breath. All right, shoulder stands. Bring your legs back over into plow and start to meet us. Let's all bend our knees into a tabletop here. Now what I want you to do, once the knees are bent into tabletop, Make sure that the knees are directly over the hip points. They're not forward and they're not away. They're directly over the hip points. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Now think of cow pose and let your tailbone push into the floor and let your belly push up to the ceiling. So now you have a big bubble under your back, yeah? And then think of cat pose and squeeze the low back down, lift the tailbone up. But remember the knees stay under the hips, yeah? And then do it again. Think cow pose. And then squeeze that low back down, lift your tailbone up. This should be difficult on the low, low abs. Take it back into that cow so the belly's lifting off, the back is lifting off, and then squeeze the low back down. Now we're gonna hold the squeezing of the low back down. We're gonna lift the tailbone even higher. We're gonna straighten the legs out at a 45 while we are lifting the tailbone. It's super hard. You should be shaking. There should be action happening in that whole torso. So you're trying to lift your tailbone and squeeze your legs and push your low back down for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. Set the feet down. Lift yourself up into bridge or full wheel. Your choices. And then slowly bring your body down to the mat. Cross your left thigh over your right thigh completely. Tangle up your legs. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, legs fall to your right. Can I help you? Just because it's Mother's Day, I'm going to let her come in the video today. She has been with me since day one, this little bitch. She was in my uh, little like shoulder over baby thingy when I would teach and she was an infant. I still am. You're still an infant? Mm-hmm. Good. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna switch sides on this twist. So bring your knees up, cross your right leg deeply over your left. See if you can tangle up those legs and then let your legs fall to the left. Over, we're in the last bit, we're in resting pose. 
Okay, guys, it's time to rest. So lay on down. Make your body comfy. Let's do some cleansing breaths in and out. So inhale. And exhale. Two more like that. Big breath in. And then exhale it out. One more like that. Big breath in. And then let it go. Now allow your breath to be easy and natural with little to no effort from you whatsoever. And I want you to stay for rest today. That's why I've cut the, the physical piece a little short so that you will be encouraged to stay for this meditation. We're going to have a special meditation in just a few moments. So stay steady in the rest. Allow your body these next few minutes to just integrate all the goodies that you received from your practice today. Take a deep breath in, exhale it out, deep breath in, exhale it out. Take your arms overhead and stretch and lengthen like you just woke up this morning, a deep, long, full body stretch. Arch your back, twist your wrists and your ankles around, and then hug your knees deeply into your chest. Pull on the knees so much that you feel a stretch in the low, low back. And then rock yourself side to side and massage the whole back, waist, kidney area. And then find your way to a seat, sitting upright, making a comfortable shape with your lower half. Let your hands do whatever feels natural. They might want to pop in your lap or on top of your knees. Press gently down into your sitting bones so that your spine is supported by this beautiful shape of your body and just the bones and the way that everything fits together without straining. And so as we breathe in and out, we have this reciprocal love happening for earth and also receiving it in. We're taking in the air that it provides. We're pushing out the air that it needs. Our plants, our trees, our grass, flowers. Life is buzzing and teeming around us constantly. So much positive and beautiful energy. Sometimes we don't even realize how blessed we actually are. Especially during these times when things look bleak and we have a lot that we can complain or worry about. It's even more important to recognize the gifts to recognize the energy of positivity that is supporting us. The flowers bloom, the animals sing, they play. The 
ocean still makes its beautiful melody for us. The wind still caresses us. Gravity holds us safe. Your body works well enough for you to wake up, to breathe, to move. Your mind works well enough to wake up and be conscious. And there was somebody that made this all possible for you. And that was your mama. Whether they are still with us, whether their relationship was tumultuous or not. We were given this gift of life. It is our job and our duty to wake up every single day. And live from the space of immense gratitude for all of these blessings that we have, but especially the one where we actually are alive and we get to share our unique voice because of that one being, that special human that birthed you. So have a moment of gratitude, and if there is anything that needs to be forgiven so that that gratitude is pure, let it go right now. Guilt, shame, hurt. These things are real. These wounds are real. But we cannot fully move into true love, true compassion without being able to let them go. in, full exhale out, deep breath in, fuller breath out, bring the hands to the center of the chest, thank you so much for showing up today, namaste. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a super fab week, super fab everything. And um, let me know if you have any questions. You can pop into my IG, which is Brookie Chi. Um, I'm Brooke Armstrong. This is Black Swan Yoga. And I'll see you soon.